What's happening, people? How y'all doing? Get this camera looking right real quick. There we go. So what's happening? We got the cat and the dog <coughs> in the frame because I'm in the living room versus my room. <coughs> um, happy Valentine's Day, I guess. I'm doing this late because I had to work today. Um, so it's kind of like after midnight, just going up past three o'clock now so fuck it <laughs> um but anyway rumors are spreading that nintendo is one discontinuing the nintendo mini or the classic mini <sighs> first of all it was a plug and play rom player that's no big deal if you want to feel some type of way about it eh, okay but no big deal um if anything it should make you realize that you might want to go out and actually partake in the retro side of gaming that maybe you're more into retro gaming than this new generation of gaming. If you feel some type of way about the classic mini. I understand that it's a ROM plug and play system. Um, <clears throat> but if you really feel some type of way about it, go buy a real NES. There's a top loader and a regular. Um, and they're both relatively inexpensive I mean they're both below a hundred dollars <throat> you can find them relatively easy they're not really that hard to find Nintendo did flood the market with them and the games are not that expensive Mario is everywhere Ken with Duck Hunt um, I mean most of the games that were on there are not rare they're just not so again I don't really feel some type of way about that. But on to the next part of the video about the Nintendo Switch, if you will. A rumor, I guess, coming from Game Rant about possibility of Nintendo GameCube being part of the um, eShop on the Nintendo Switch. That's, pardon me, that, that would be kind of cool, if you ask me. Okay, but we need to make the library as big as possible. Don't half-ass it. Make all the games that were on the GameCube available. Um, don't Xbox it. Because Xbox half asses it. Um, and that would make available five Resident Evil titles. Five. So, you're looking at Resident Evil 0, 1, 2, Nemesis, um, Resident Evil 4, and Code Veronica. Oh, that's six games right there. Um, Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes, um, Geist, 1080, um, the second one, Avalanche. Um, there's a lot of games. And uh, Skies of Arcadia Legends would be on there. There's a lot of games on the you know GameCube that were really good. Those are games that I have that I just listed. I know Mario Sunshine, a lot of people liked it. I didn't care for it. But, I mean, there are a lot of games um, that you could get. There are a lot of games that would be really good to have. But I don't think it's going to hurt anyone's feelings if it's not on there. It would be interesting, to say the least. Because, hey, it opens up a wider um, list of games. But I don't want to see them do it if it's going to be half-assed. You know what I mean? We need, um, you know, because it's going to be on the eShop and it's going to be ROMs. Because that's what that is to the eShop. It's just a shitload of ROMs. Um, we need.
need to have a list of games that will be available. We don't need you to just rumor mill this shit. We need it to all be available. And you don't need to Xbox the list. You don't need to do that bullshit. You don't need to Sony this shit and overprice it. You need to Nintendo this thing. You need to make a good amount of games. You need to have a good amount out there. You need to have the prices like you do with the Super Nintendo and the regular Nintendo. A fair price. You know what I mean? And I think you would do just fine. I don't think it's going to hurt nobody's feelings if you don't do that. I think you would make a little bit more profit for the Switch if you did it. But it's not going to hurt no one's feelings if you don't. You see what I'm saying? I personally am not going to go cancel my Switch pre-order just because you don't have it or you do. It's not going to make a difference to me. I have the games that I want on my GameCube and that's what I want. That's all I want. Um, same thing with my PS2. I have the games I want and that's it. I, I don't collect for those systems. I collect for my original Xbox. I don't collect for the 360. I don't collect for anything. I collect for the original Xbox. Um, I kind of collect for the, uh, Nintendo 64, and I really want to start collecting for, like, the Super Nintendo, but it's not super important to me if you do or you don't have, like, the ability to buy ROMs from certain generations, because to me, and I think to a lot of people, it would be more impressive to have a generation more enriched with current titles because I mean come on we are lacking that from both Sony and Microsoft so Nintendo if you enrich this switch generation with the Nintendo switch with a laundry list of games and a variety of games not just ports and bullshit like that I think you'll do just fine and I mean the launch lineup is what it is but I think you'll do just fine as long as that you know a lineup of games in the first year is diverse very heavy variety and has the main reason gaming is what it is and is always been what it is you know has that replayability is fun entertaining bringing people together and Nintendo, you've always had that. So I think as long as you keep that main core focus, people are going to say what they want to say, but as long as you keep that there, <laughs> because PlayStation and Microsoft, Xbox, they don't have that. They, they don't. You can say, oh, well, they're made for a hardcore audience. Even your most hardcore gamer, at the end of the day, wants that. So... Say what you will, he'll gravitate towards the Switch. And, you know, I think if you have that laundry list of games and you don't focus so heavily on past generations like the PS4 and the Xbox One have up until now where they're starting to start getting their shit together and you bust out the door with just so many original titles and enriching your generation in year one with original games, then you're, you're definitely going to be a threat. Especially if you don't do this every couple of years new system bullshit that they seem to need to do. I think you'll be okay. So we'll see what happens. We're still a couple of weeks away. I'm looking forward to it, personally. I can't wait to get my hands on uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I have two copies, one for the Switch and one for the Wii U. I know, I have a Wii U. Fuck off. Um, I'll be playing on the Wii U first because the Switch is the Switch, and I still love my Nintendo Wii U, but I'll play it on that first because I know it was built for the Wii U, and it's ported to the Switch. So I want to play the original version first. And then I'll play the Switch. It's the same thing I did with Twilight Princess. I played it original. Um, actually, I played it on the Wii first. because I didn't know it was made for GameCube. So I played it on the Wii. Then I went back played it on GameCube. Then I have played it on the Wii U. So, though I played it backwards, 
I know this one is originally on Wii U, then Switch. So, you know, I'm going to play it with his house on first. So, that's what I'm going to do. Well, until next time, guys, deuces.